you know, sometimes we 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 so quick to move fast, but we're not moving correctly. You know, I don't want to waste time, but I don't want to move fast and incorrectly. If it take a long time to do something, I can live with it taking a long time as long as I'm moving correctly. So let's do what we need to do correctly. Let's protect our interests. Let's protect our business. Let's protect our assets. Let's protect our family. Because at the end of the day, you want to reduce your risk. Getting your finances in order is about reducing your risk. You should have that same mindset when it comes to your business acumen. You want to reduce your risk. So you know, if it would have been a flaw for me, and like I said, I made this mistake in the past, you know, with a rental property, but it would have been a flaw for me to have a $700 camera to review and film these videos and look all crisp and clean, but my logo and all my shirt is not my intellectual property. Trust me, y'all have a look. It ain't, it's more than one debt-free dad out there. That's why I put debt-free together because I didn't want to have any confusion, even though they didn't have... Uh, the, the intellectual property together because I searched it, but I want to make sure I got my stuff together. So y'all should definitely make sure y'all got y'all stuff together. Because honestly, in today's video, I was actually going to post a video that I did to show uh, my credit card rewards that I got back for this month to show the total from January and February. When I actually thought about it, I was like, ah, I released that Sunday because I just had some other stuff. Like, I think historically, and I'm going to include myself, I think people have an innate nature to do things bass backwards or, or just backwards. And I'm going to just use myself an example. Y'all know I had a rental property, one of my properties that I sold when I sold that rental property. I actually mentioned it in a video. I said, man, I know better. Why do I have this property in my personal name? This property should be in the company name. I know that's the right way to do it. I know that limits my liability, but I was just being lazy and I wanted to take the path of least resistance as opposed to doing what's right. And I think a lot of times that's just kind of our nature. That's just kind of our mantra. It's not about doing it the right way. It's easier for people to take the path of least resistance, even if it's not necessarily 100% the correct way. Like, just think about it. I know right now, there's probably, and this is not a knock, I'm just keeping it a buck with you. Hey, it is, it's, it is what it is. It's facts. I'm not knocking nobody, but there's probably a content creator or somebody who has a business out there right now who has equipment that costs $500. They may have a $500 camera. They may have a, a $700 t-shirt printing machine. They may have equipment that costs five to $700, but they didn't even trademark their brand. They didn't even incorporate their logo. They didn't even protect the, the, the intellectual property associated with their business. And in hindsight, when you think about it, that's kind of crazy. Like, I don't know. I just I just think that we got to stop doing stuff backwards. If we're going to succeed, we got to do it the right way, even though the right way is harder. So, and, and I keep it 100 with you. With, when I started this channel, I was filming it on my phone. Once I got an idea, I was like, you know what? I'm going to come up with a logo. I didn't even want to show the logo until I trademarked it. I was like, I got to trademark the logo first. Then I got to start the actual LLC. Then once I did those things, I was like, okay, now I got my intellectual property taken care of. I got my company established. Now let me kind of focus on some of the equipment that I want to get. Now I could go out and get the camera that I want for the business because, hey, it's a business expense. It's underneath the LLC and my intellectual property is protected. And I told y'all before, I actually used to watch this guy on YouTube and he was printing out all these shirts and he had he had a, a gang of subscribers. He was printing out all these shirts, selling everything but he would always get into these back and forth with everybody in his comments. And everybody kept telling him, man, you need to go ahead, trademark your logo. You need to go ahead, protect your intellectual property. Well, one day he got into it with a guy in the comments and the dude in the comments went, got that logo and trademarked that logo. And then sent this dude a message like, hey, you can't sell my stuff no more. <laughs> That's extreme petty to take the resources and the time to do that. But think about it. Think if you got a YouTube channel or you got a business and you always one lick away, one video away, one sale away, one conversation away from blowing up. What if you have a video that blows up tomorrow and gets you 2 million views and you end up in the morning with 30,000 subscribers 
and your logo is not protected. Now you got everybody seeing, oh man, you got an SD shop, you got logos and a brand and a name and nothing is trademarked. So we got to do things right, even if doing it the right way takes more time. There's nothing wrong with moving slow as long as you're moving correctly. And I think the other thing is that, you know, it, it's funny because, and, and this could just be me, but I'm 100% confident in wanting to do my business and how I move the way that I want to do it. Now, that doesn't mean that I don't pay attention to what the consumer wants. I mean, like if somebody hit me up and asked me a question, I do a video on it. Sometimes I post... Sometimes I post a question, what do y'all want to see, A or B? Because at the end of the day, I want to make content. It's, it's three parts to the content I want to make. I want to make content that you all want to see. I want to make content that I'm passionate about making. And I want to make content that's relevant, something that's going on right now with finances, where people can relate, people can learn something from it. And so, you know, I, I think with that, there's nothing wrong with getting jewels from people in the game who've already done it. So me going to FinCon is great. I go to FinCon, I learn a lot, I soak up some knowledge, I meet all these content creators, but I don't got to drive down the same road that they want. That's just the road that you drove down, the road that, you know, uh, 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 Graham Stephan or some other big finance YouTuber drove down. I don't got to drive down that road because that's not the road. Sometimes I want to get off the highway and make my own lane. And in doing that, I'm content with it either, it either being successful or potentially limiting my success. But as long as I can do it the way I want to do it. So right now, I'm really focused and learning a lot about marketing. I got some books and I've been watching a lot of content around marketing because that's all this is. We're trying to push that content out to people so that people can get something from it, so they can benefit from it. Like, I'm gonna tell you the, the thing that makes me so excited about the content that I make, and even at the content, just my interaction with other people, like go check out my guy, Harlan D. White. You know, that it made me feel good when he said, you know, I had the money in my savings account to pay off my last debt and I was lollygagging until you know, my, my guy Marcus, the debt-free dad, told me, stop bojangling and go ahead and pay off that debt. That made me feel good that that comment pushed him to do something that ultimately helped him out. And it was, you know, it was up to him. I said it jokingly, but, you know, that made me feel good. And that's the basis of what I want my content to be. So I'm not going to stick to the blueprint of what everyone else is doing. I'm going to just try to carve out my own unique way. And, hey, if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, it works. At least I'm content in knowing that I gave people what I felt was good information, what, and I gave people what I felt that they wanted me to give them. So that being said, I just wanted to, you know, touch bases on it completely because, you know, sometimes we, we, we so quick to move fast, but we're not moving correctly. You know, I don't want to waste time, but I don't want to move fast and incorrectly. If it take a long time to do something, I can live with it taking a long time as long as I'm moving correctly. So let's do what we need to do correctly. Let's protect our interests. Let's protect our business. Let's protect our assets. Let's protect our family. Because at the end of the day, you want to reduce your risk. Getting your finances in order is about reducing your risk. You should have that same mindset when it comes to your business acumen. You want to reduce your risk. So, you know, if it, it would have been a flaw for me, and like I said, I made this mistake in the past, you know, with a rental property, but it would have been a flaw for me to have a $700 camera to review and film these videos and look all crisp and clean, but my logo and all my shirt is not my intellectual property. Trust me, y'all have a look. It ain't, it's more than one debt-free dad out there. That's why I put debt-free together because I didn't want to have any confusion even though they didn't have uh, the, the intellectual property together because I searched it, but I want to make sure I got my stuff together. So y'all should definitely make sure y'all got y'all stuff together. There's information out there. Y'all find what y'all need. I'm going to close out on that note. As always, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. I thank y'all for the support. Um, I really just appreciate all the support. And if y'all ever interested, if you're on TikTok, check out my TikTok. I go live on TikTok pretty often. 
because I feel like it prepares me to jump in front of this camera. And TikTok a little, I could keep it a little, uh, you know, this I try to keep like rated PG-13, rated R. Not that I'm doing anything. I'm not like over there twerking on camera or nothing like that. But, you know, I have a little bit more leverage to talk about a little bit more topics over there. So definitely check it out. Debt Free Dad, you'll find me. You'll see the logo. Y'all take care. Be blessed. Hit the like button. It's free to do. Peace.